What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you five CRPGs that I am looking forward to, or at least keeping an eye on, as they approach their release dates. In some cases, we know the release date, others we do not. Most of these I expect to release in 2022, however, I figured I would cover some of these slightly smaller titles for the most part as CRPGs are a genre that is near and dear to my heart. That said, this isn't meant to be a comprehensive list. These are just ones that I'm keeping an eye on that are supposed to be launching in 2022. First up, let's get the one out of the way that I've talked about before, which is Dark Envoy. This was actually originally supposed to release in 2021, but got pushed back, like many a game, to 2022. It has no set date, but is supposed to be launching this year. Dark Envoy is pretty visually striking. It's from Event Horizon, the developers of the Tower of Time CRPG, which I am told is very good. I haven't got around to playing that one yet myself, though. But this particular game looks incredibly interesting to me, as it has a very sci-fi vibe to all of it. And in this world, mana-fueled technology is kind of upsetting the balance of magic, so to speak. And that's kind of the crux of the game. And it has a very steampunk meets magic vibe, almost in the sense of Arcanum, but a little different, a little more high technology than that. But from there, let's move on to the other titles that I have not talked about previously. So first up, we have the one that actually has a confirmed release date, and that is Weird West. Now, this is a fairly interesting title that self-describes as an immersive sim, actually. But it's sort of like the Wild West meets dark fantasy seems to be the vibe they're going for. So there's the whole like, you know, Wild West gunslingers types, but also right alongside fantastical creatures, which looks fairly interesting. But beyond that, the game is supposed to be about choice and consequence, as well as their combat system, because again, this is meant to be an immersive sim, at least in design and function. So it's a real time combat system which will let you aim and interact with the environment and, of course, use all your skills in various ways. And overall, it's a project I'm very interested in seeing how it actually pans out. But that said, it's supposed to be releasing on March 31st, so we should see here before too long. Next on our list, we have Broken Roads. Broken Roads looks pretty interesting. I do have a little bit of concern about it because it is a post-apocalyptic CRPG, and overall, that's a pretty saturated style of game, to be honest. I mean, as are most fantasy RPGs, to be fair, but Fallout-esque games are very common, honestly, and it can be hard for them to find their footing because a lot of them, you know, aren't Fallout. So I'm curious to see how well this one actually does commercially. But overall, pretty interesting title. It's supposed to be a sort of narrative-driven RPG. However, it does have tactical turn-based combat, and they put a big emphasis on their morality system, which is their moral compass. But that said, I really do like the art style, and I'm kind of curious to see if Broken Roads can manage to set itself apart as something unique. But moving on from there, let's talk about Witchstone. Now, Witchstone is probably the only one on this list that is more up in the air, shall we say. This title, more so than the others, I'm definitely just keeping an eye on more than anything. Because truthfully, I don't know if there's enough information out there to really draw a formal conclusion. Like, it appears that they had a demo that they showed off to some websites back when, but the last update from the development team was back in, I believe it was May 2021, which is when they told everyone that they had actually received some sort of formal funding, which sounds like a publisher arrangement, but it didn't say for sure, and that they would be quiet on the updates front until they had just more to talk about, frankly. Which makes sense, but... More so than that, Project Witchstone as a game makes a lot of bold claims that I'm not sure that they're going to be able to back up. And while what's here looks interesting, and people seem to have enjoyed that demo, the future of this game is very questionable, so I would caution people on that. But I am nonetheless keeping an eye on it, as I'm curious to see if this project winds up failing, or if it actually manages to live up to even half of some of the things they aspire for this game to be. But beyond that, uh, gameplay-wise, it Looks very Divinity Original Sin, to be honest, which is one of the big reasons I'm keeping an eye on it. Wrapping up with a title that I am actually pretty excited for, and that is Alaloth, Champions of the Four Kingdom. The game itself seems to be very rooted in a classic RPG. However, there's a lot of modern takes, if you will. The combat system is a bit more action-oriented. However, there's supposed to be 12 companions with the launch of the game that have their own stories, etc., and what I'm looking forward to checking out the most about this game is how much it focuses on the story, to be honest with you. A lot of the gameplay and the focus and the updates that I've seen have focused on the combat specifically, which does look interesting. 
and it does strike me as a bit more action-oriented. However, there's a lot of talk about the setting and the world as well, so I'm curious how much choice and exploration there's going to be here, which I would say is ultimately going to be make or break on it being a good or great game, you know? But there you go, guys. Five CRPGs that I'm quite interested in keeping an eye on. Now, I do expect some probably bigger announcements eventually in terms of CRPGs. For instance, BG3 is supposed to be launching this year, but again, hard to really say. But Larian Studios has been a bit quiet on the actual release date of BG3, so we'll see. And then beyond that, with Alcat Games having wrapped up uh, Wrath of the Righteous, that is to say its release, they're very obviously working on the DLC that they have planned for Wrath of the Righteous. And while I don't expect it this year per se, I imagine they have started work or at least pre-production on another title because that's typically how those things work. And I'm very interested in seeing what Owlcat Games does next, but that stuff is far, far future, and the games I presented in this video I wanted to focus on this year or more likely to be this year type stuff, so a little sooner. But there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I had some titles that you might be looking forward to yourself now. And if you found something you liked or you just liked the video, Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.